Israel. So he's the God of the Israelites. He's not the God of every nation on the planet. Read on. For he has visited and redeemed his people. So he has visited and redeemed his people. That's a possessive pronoun. Read right. on. Read on. Sir. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us. That horn of salvation is the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Read on. In the house of his servant David. In the house of his servant David. Read. And he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Read. Which have been since the world began. Read. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be what? Saved. How y'all doing? From our enemies. That we should be what? That we should be saved from our enemies. He ended the prayer saying that y'all saved. But we still got enemies on the planet Earth right now. Bring it out. We're still getting shot down by the police. That's the right. enemy right there. Right. Okay, so how can we be saved if we still going through all types of turmoil, all types of violence in our community? Right. How are we still being how are we saved if we still suffer violence as a black community? Right. How are we saved as a people? How are, how are the people in the church like Dylan Roof killed in the church? How was they saved? Were they saved? They probably thought so too. I got out right. the script, sir. Uh, read it. Yes, sir. Acts chapter 5 and verse 30. How y'all doing? The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, uh -huh. whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Read. Him hath God exalted with his right hand read. to be a prince and a savior, uh -huh. for to give repentance to Israel. For to give repentance to who? Israel. For repentance to who? Israel. Believe it or not, you blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans that's in this church, y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. right. Probably most of y'all never even heard of the Israelites before. Right. Those are God's chosen people. That's right. y'all. Okay? Y'all are the Israelites, the real Jews, according to the Bible. That's you. Right. Okay? Read that again. Yes, sir. Acts chapter 5, verse 31. Read. Him hath God exalted with his right hand. How you doing, sir? You doing all right? You doing okay? I just got a question. I got a question for you real quick. You don't ask questions? Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you what we're about. Okay, all right. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what, I, I, that's what I'm trying to do right now. It's not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to harm nobody. I'm here in peace. I love my people. How you doing, my brother with the orange hoodie? How you doing? You doing all right? You just came out of this church? Yes, sir. Okay, all praise, all praise. My name is Uriah. Nice to meet you. Can I shake your hand? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All praises, all praises. I don't think we just do that's out here, though. What's up? Because y'all church property. I don't think y'all can be out here preaching against. Okay, yeah. Here. Well, well, I know this is not church property. I know from the gate back, it's y'all church property. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'll stay right here. So you mind if I ask you some questions from right here? No, you know, I'm not gonna answer them, but you can ask them all day. Uh, you just came out of the church too? You remember church 22 first five? Sir. Sure. I just got a question. You can ask. I'm, I'm, I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to answer you, but yeah, you can ask. You believe in God? You believe in the Bible? I believe in Jesus, yeah. Okay, all right. Read that real quick. Sir. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You believe that scripture? That's why they got the camera here. Yeah, I know. That's why huh? You can ask. I'm not going to answer but you can ask. So you run the house? First Corinthians chapter 11. Sir. You know you're supposed to be running the house, right? You're the head of the household? You know that, right? Okay, okay, she because she's talking like she running you. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, read that real quick. Yes, sir. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. It's the New Testament. How but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. I want to talk to the pastor Russ Beecham. That's who I really want to talk to. All right, read on. And the head of the woman is the man. So the head of the woman is who? The man. But well, she's talking like she running you. Right. What I got to do with this? What? No. What I got to do with it? What? What? With the Bible? With the Bible. I'm saying, you said she's talking light. That don't mean nothing. Okay. She's talking light. She just I'm just making sure you know that you're the head of the household. That's of all. Of course. We okay. Get yeah, Leviticus chapter 13, word verse 30. Huh? The word tell you that. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. All right. Get Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Read that. Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 30. Read. Read and the priest shall see the plague. Hey, what's the plague? I don't know, you tell me. It's a sickness. Alright. Alright, read that. And behold, uh -huh. if it be in sight deeper than the skin, uh -huh. and there be in it a yellow, thin hair. What what's the French word for yellow? I don't know. Blonde. Oh, okay. Alright, so I see you got blonde tips on on your head right uh -huh. there. You know what I'm saying? Read that. Yes, sir. Right. The priest shall pronounce him unclean. Read that again. The prince. Please. The priest shall pronounce him unclean. Read it again. The priest shall pronounce him unclean. Read that again. The priest 
shall pronounce him unclean. Read that again. The priest shall pronounce him unclean. Read it again. The priest shall pronounce him unclean. You know that's unclean according to the Bible? That's right. Having blind in your hair, that's unclean according right. to the Bible. Did you know that? There's a lot of things that's unclean. Teach your people. So I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out why Russ is not teaching y'all this. Right. So Pastor no, Russ. Why are you on the one? He want to argue. No, I'm not arguing. I'm just like, I got questions for real. Right. I'm sorry. No, I'm I just got questions. That's all. Ready to go. You don't got questions. Cause they ain't never know what see Jesus on the street corner yelling at people about what they did and didn't. So obviously right. you haven't read the Bible. I don't. I never okay. see okay. Jesus doing what they did and didn't do right. I don't need you to tell me. I know my word and I know my God. So like she I know said, the word, but she's out here in shorts. Can you go in? And First Timothy chapter two verse nine. Gotcha. Let's go. You're falling into it. You're standing right here arguing with these people. Let's Is tempting you? Huh? Is it tempting you? What she has on? I said, is it modest? I'm asking you a question now. Is what Can you ask my on? question, sir? What does she have on? Shorts, right? Is, is that, it modest? Is it tempting you? Is it modest? What's modest? What does modesty mean? Covered up, not drawing sexual attention. Okay, so That's is it right. tempting you? She's showing all her curves. It, I'm not paying attention she, to her. She's blessed. She's she blessed by okay. God. Yeah, all, most of our okay. people are. So how is it tempting you? Most of our women are. Right, so I, I'm not, that wasn't, that's not the question. Right. You're trying to change the question. No, I just had a question. Because you're supposed to be the head of the house, right? That's all right. You ain't bother me. We just having a conversation. That's all. That's the pastor. We talking about the word. Pastor, pastor Russ Beecher. That's him right there. Yeah. Hey, sir, how you doing? Yes, sir. Yep. Can I talk to you for a second, please? Yep. See? I just want to talk to my people. That's all. Right. Damn, he drawed himself out. We don't mean no harm. Right. We just having a conversation. Right. We just want to have a conversation. That's all. You want Luke 14, sir? No, read that the last scripture one more time. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. First Timothy? Yeah. Sir. The book of First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. Read. In like manner also, uh -huh. that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modesty means covered up, not drawing sexual attention to yourself. But we got women coming outside this church, dressing in pants, showing off their curves. That's not modesty according to God. So I got questions for the pastor. Maybe you don't want to answer my questions. I don't know. Maybe it's too hard for him. I don't know. What's going on? Can I get somebody to answer my questions, please? New Church of Faith Incorporated. Pastor Russ Beecham. Pastor Russ Beecham. Read it again. Yes, sir. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Now, how you doing, my brother, with the bow tie right there with the suit? You look clean. You look clean, sir. I just got a question for you. Why do women in y'all church wear pants if the Bible says for women not to? They're modest. That's in modesty according to the Bible. That's right. right. According to God. Right. Read it again. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Read. In like manner also uh -huh. that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. How come uh, your pastor don't want to talk to me? I'm not yelling. I'm not coming in violence. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling. I just want to have a conversation. Read it again. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So women are supposed to adorn themselves in modest apparel. Right. Not drawing sexual attention to themselves. But I see women coming out of the church having in modest apparel drawing sexual attention to themselves. Right. That don't make no sense. Right. Y'all just came out of the church. What did, what did y'all learn today? What did y'all learn in the church today? There go, my, there go a young sister right there with got pants on. Okay? Showing off all the curves. But read that again. Yes, sir. Adorn them, excuse me, in like manner also uh -huh. that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Women are coming out the church with tight skirts and dresses on. Read that again. In like manner also that uh -huh. women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Read that again. In modest apparel. So our women are supposed to be dressed in modest apparel. Right? So that's why I want to talk to the pastor and see what's going on. What are you teaching in that church? What are you teaching y'all in that church, yo? I got questions. I got questions, y'all. Maybe, maybe y'all down there can answer my questions. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Y'all doing okay today? Well, Malachi two, sir. Go ahead. The Book of Malachi, chapter two and verse seven. Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest, which is your pastor in the church, which is Pastor Russ Beecham, should keep knowledge. What's the knowledge? Get that real quick, sir. Let's get that real quick. Where Pastor Russ at? Is Pastor Russ around? He went back inside? Pastor, sir. 
He probably going out that way, right? He probably going out that way. We're going to make it down there a little bit. Read that. Bring Proverbs up. chapter 1 and verse 7. Read. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Sis, can you answer my question real quick? No? Nobody? How you doing? Can you answer my question real quick, sir? No? Okay. All right. Hey, how y'all doing? No? All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, white people. Hey, white people. Right. White people. Right. Or so-called white people. Hey, I got a question. I got a question. Y'all believe in the Bible? Bring it up. Look at that. How y'all doing? Hey, can I get a hug too? Hey, can I get a hug too? I love, I love black people. Hey, how you doing, sir? You back? You back? Yeah, yeah. How you doing, sir? We was talking earlier, right? And we got cut off somehow. You know what I'm saying? I just got a question for you, sir. No love for the old people. I got a question for you. You ready? All right. So. Why does the Bible say that women can't wear which pertains to a man, but I see women coming out the church wearing what what pertains to men? Why do I see that? What did y'all learn today in the church? You can't answer no questions either. You believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. Huh? You do? Yeah, that's what we're reading. I'm just asking if you believe it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.